Okay. Headed southwest. 4.2 knots, 4.3. We hit five a couple times when there's a gust. There's the anchorage, there's Miami. I gotta set the wind vane, I just wanted to get sailing first. Probably pass between him. I'm gonna go behind him to be safe. And head up more to the wind, so. The sky right over there. Sail. This is the jib. I could probably use a bigger sail too, but I don't want to set 14 to 17. I sure don't feel like that today. I'm in no hurry, so I'm just going to take it easy today. Yeah, there's the show mark. I could go in front of him. So I'm headed to Featherbed Bank. Let's see if I make it. We got a lot of stuff to re-rig and get things right. Some things are thrown together, the rigging's thrown together more or less. Why is that thing underneath? that out to so We're just gonna go this way and see what happens. steering so I don't have to I can do my things. It's still not gonna be easy to self steer in this way today. There's a million boats. Let's see if I can zoom up on this sky. There it is. video going later. Bear Cut, Seaquarium, Stadium, Miami. Okay, we're about, we travel this is eight miles. There's Elliot Key. There's Soldier Key. Cruising along, steering the boat. I try to make the wind vane work. Very tough to try to drive the boat and set up the wind vane the first time. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. So, we're just gonna hold up on that. It's only a couple more miles, five, six more miles, I think. So we'll just enjoy the day. We got nice shade. Gotta get it right though. I've used it three times before, I didn't have problems before, so I'm just doing something wrong. It's been so long since I've used it. I gotta read the book again. Maybe I should have sheeted the lines first, who knows? I'll figure it out when I get the book in my hand. But it's not so crazy out here. I'm guessing that's Featherbed Bank at 190 degrees. Good. I used a little sail today. A little crazy, but you know, I think I'm ready for lunch. I'll make another two hours. I'd like to stop off Elliot just to hang and check it out. Maybe spend the night there.
Pigeon Key, that's the one. That's Tavernier over there, I think, or Plantation Key. Tavernier, maybe? Community Harbor's right in there. I'm gonna try to go around this marker and anchor out in Butternut Key. Bottle can there, side back country. There's a lot of flats. Maybe a little choppy and murky here, but wind's coming down tomorrow. So let's hope for the best. Trying to get some juice in the batteries. They're pretty full though. The autopilot to run the boat. Yeah, it's not that windy, just murky because like big boats go by and they just you can see all the dirt they kick up. I mean it's only four, four and a half feet, five feet in here. It's shallow, so they kick up big time. But where I'm headed, there won't be any big boats out there. It's seven feet deep and six though. The wind is supposed to be right throughout the weekend, ten knots. And even if they're not, I'm gonna be anchored four miles from Community Harbor so I can get more diesel, gas, and ice. So I might set her two nights. Try to fish and get the upward working a little better. It's still a little coffee. You give it gas, it kind of coughs out, and you got to get it real slow. It's got to be a carburation thing, but who knows? Anyway, nice weather. I had Teresa and Kelly come down yesterday. He went to Key Largo with them. Penny Camp had some great food at Calypso's and at the Hookers. Really good food. Carpet Basin has a nice little public dock. You can go there. I got to go to Publix, go to get all my stuff, newspapers, I'm ready to go for a couple days. under the boat by the way. I thought he was big. So if we don't water out the camera. If it did we're gonna be the first to find out. But anyway so here we are at the Lorelei. Chips over, but there's never any adventure in this open. It's a good size cooter. Time for me to kick open some Coronas. Let's see if I can get him up here real quick. The trout are definitely biting. These are small guys. Where's the big one? I had caught a big one first, of course. And now the little guys are coming. DOA shrimp, man. Hold on, big dog. I'll have you out of there in a second. Another little guy. I caught like five of these guys. But the big one I lost at the boat. So there's trout biting here. Let's dump in the water. Hold on, big dog. There he goes. Yeah, they're biting like crazy. All right, we'll try to get some more. It's sunset in here. Caught like three or four of those guys, but the big one was the first one I caught. He was way over the limit, and of course, I tried to flip him. But I got a little lazy. The sailboat looks like he's anchored for tonight. I don't know. 